Hello friends, welcome to bispsolutions.com. My name is Antu Chandel and today I'm going to create a transparent partition from BSO to ASO. But before moving forward, uh, these four points should be kept in mind. First is make sure that the number of dimensions in the source are the same as the number of dimensions in the target. Second is number of cells chosen in the source and the target should match. Third one is when source and the target dimension members do not match, MAMPIC editor should be used to map the individual members. Uh, and the fourth one is if a dimension is not chosen in the area, then the partition assumes that the dimensions has a one-to-one -one match between the source and the target. Let's go to our SBS console. Mm -hmm. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this sample application and I'm going to uh, create an ASO of this BSO cube. So for that, I will go to the wizards, aggregate to storage outline conversion. from the server, basic, yes, this one. Next. So it's giving me some errors and warnings. I'm going to select automatic outline correction and then I'm going to click next. So now it says four invalid members were modified and two invalid members were deleted. Okay, next. So from this option over there, create aggregated storage application, I'm going to create a ESO app. So I'm going to name it, let's say AG ESO and database will be uh, plan. Okay. So my application is now being displayed under applications. All done. All three ticks are there. I'm going to click finish now. We'll go to the application outline. See if it's unlocked. Yes, it is. Go to outlines. So the dimensions are there. Now I'm going to connect it to smart view. First, what we are going to do, we are going to connect this basic queue, which is a BSO queue to a smart queue and see what all members have data in it. Then I'm going to connect it with uh, our aggregate storage queue and then see if the data has been copied or not. From here, we can see the members has been uh, replicated properly. So smart view, panel, Yes. Going to connect it with my private connection. So this is our second step. Before that, what we have to do, we have to connect our sample application with basic. Going to run an ad hoc analysis on this one. Uh, all right, POE. Think this will do. Just going to pivot this one. Yes, scenario. I'm going to take actual market. I will take New York. Uh, product will be cola. Year Jan. Refresh it. Yes. Oh good. Deselected. Yes. All levels. 
all right so not everything has data in it i have data in sales box margin all right so sales and cops that these two have data in it next thing what i'm going to do uh, first i will rename it this is my pso and this is my ASO. yep now i'm going to connect the cube which i created just now it was under ag aso plan going to run an ad hoc analysis on this one is he setting the pov's Selected, measure, to the love, yeah. So my scenario is again, actual market is New York. Product is Cola, Ear, Jan. And measures all, I didn't select it. Measures all level, yeah. See, sales cox, nothing is there, right? But the good thing is all the metadata has been copied properly. Apart from those nine items, which we got in our error. So going back to our space, I'm going to create a partition on BSO, basic, partition, right click on partition, create new partition, yeah. Uh, Click on transparent. Yeah, I want this connections. So my source data will be my BSO cube, which is basic password, my password. And I want it to be in the application, which I created just now, which is AG underscore ASO. Yes, that is my database. And my password areas. I'm selecting cell count because I want to see that what are the values I'm selected in source gives is tally to the target or not. So on double clicking this, I will get all the dimensions over here. Uh, I just have data in sales. So instead of importing all the dimensions, I'm just going to select sales. So first period, then I will go into sales. Yes. My product was Cola. Market, New York. And actual. One can actually select all the dimensions if you want everything to be replicated to your ASO queue but I just want sales for now. Okay, going to select the same thing in my target area. So my period is Jan, measures sales, product, cola, market, New York, and the last one scenario is actual. Okay, all good by member name. Uh, okay, yep. So I selected this show cell count because I just wanted to tell you that the number of cells over here should be equal to the number of cells in my target. Now, going to the next tab, which is mapping. Double click on the source members. Yeah, so I'm going to select all the dimensions over here. So period measures product. Market. Scenario. 
So here I'm going to map it to the target. So AGASO plan, period to period, yes. Measures to measure. Product to product. Double click, sorry. Market to market. And then scenario to scenario. All right. To check, I'm going to validate it if everything is all right or not. Beautiful. So validation was successful. I'm going to save it. Going to take a bit. So the partition has been created successfully. Now we will go back to our Excel and see if the value has been copied or not. Yes, it has. So guys, this is how we create a transparent partition to copy data from BSO to ASO. Thank you.